Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a doodly video with two characters engaging in a conversation. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever wanted to make your characters in doodly talk to each other? Today, that's what we're going to do. Now they're lips are not going to move or anything like that. First thing we want to do is go into Takia and bring our dialogue in. Now Takia is part of the Boomly Cloud family, so if you subscribe to Boomly Cloud, you also have Takia, and it's your text-to-speech tool. So we're just going to go ahead and type in our text, or copy and paste it if you already have it typed up, into this little text box. Bear with me for a moment, and I'm going to bring in my first line of dialogue. My characters are both men, so I'm going to choose the male gender, and I'm going to pick some voices. My first character is named Andrew, so for Andrew, we want a different voice than we have for John, so we're going to start with Andrew's voice first. I would like them to be US-based, so I'm going to look here for the US-based men. So we'll choose Ryan for Andrew, okay? If you need to, write it down and hit apply. And let's just listen to this first line. John, I'm thinking about buying a house, but it's overwhelming. Any pointers on where to begin? I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. John, I'm thinking about buying a house, but it's overwhelming. Any pointers on where to begin? And that's going to be fine, so I'm going to add it to the timeline. So now that we have that one in, let's do our next one. I'm going to do all of Andrew's first, so let me go ahead and add this to the timeline. What about all the mortgage and inspection stuff? Did you find that tricky? I'm going to move this down just for some separation. I'll adjust it in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this, and then he has one more line, and I'm going to add that to the timeline. Sounds like I need a good checklist and maybe a stronger coffee blend. And now we're going to get John's text. And since this is a different speaker, we need a different voice. Let's do Michael. I'm going to add this to the timeline. And it's Totally get that, Andrew. Start simple. Figure out what you can spend and what's essential for you. And you notice these keep adding on to the end, right? Well, now we're going to move this into position. So that's going to go right there. And then I can move this one down. Let's go ahead and clear this. And let's get our next line. Let's add it to the timeline. Oh, for sure. But a solid real estate agent can really help demystify things. And absolutely don't skip. And again, I'm moving it into place. And then I can move this down. And then we have one final line of dialogue. Ha, ah, definitely on the coffee. Just take things one step at a time. And that's it. So I have built my conversation here. So let's go ahead and save it. If you'd like, you can export it and then import it into Doodly, or you can just use the built-in integration that Doodly now has. Go to Sounds, click on Takia, let your files load, and then find your actual file and drag it into your timeline. So here's mine, two characters talking, and that is that. Now that we have the dialogue in here, let's choose our characters. I did already choose Andrew and John, and that's who we'll go with, but I wanted to show you how I found them easily. One of my tricks, instead of scrolling through all of the possible characters, is to choose a pose. So let's just say hands up. And now we can see all the different characters that have their hands up. And this is a good way to choose. So I liked Andrew, and then I wanted another sort of casual business type. So I just scrolled through until I found, I liked Danny, and then I also liked John, who is right here. And then once you have their names, then you could just type them in to find their different poses. So I'm gonna start with a shot of the two men talking. And let's go ahead to show preview and just see what this is looking like. John, I'm thinking about buying a house, but it's overwhelming. Any pointers on where to begin? 
Totally get that, Andrew. Starts. All right, so I don't need the um, speech bubble because we're gonna have them actually talking. Okay, so we'll just have this like so. Since Andrew's first, we wanna make sure he's our first one. Let's give him about two seconds to draw. Him about two seconds. And let's just kind of move this down just a hair. They don't need to start talking right away. And then what I'd like to do is add a camera movement and some time at the end of the scene here. And we're going to zoom the camera in on him when he starts talking. So let's see when does he start talking. Any pointers on where to begin? So we're going to move the camera movement right here to correspond with this other guy talking. So let's click it and we want to just zoom in here. And he's going to talk for probably till here. So I'm going to add a little bit more time. I'm going to turn off exit animation because we don't want them swiping away. And that should be fine. Let's see how this is looking now. Totally get that, Andrew. Start simple. Figure out what you can spend and what's essential for you. And now we're going to add a new scene. We're also going to add a camera. And we're going to put this here. And we're going to adjust the camera to be where we want it on our next guy. Let's find Andrew here. And let's have a different expression. We want to make it about the same. And on this camera, what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to unlock the start and I'm basically just resetting it because we're not going to have movements anymore. We're just going to have it cropped close. So we'll do that. So let's see how that looks. What's essential for you? What about all the mortgage and inspection stuff? Did you find? And that looks fine. We want to just make sure that it's on here long enough. So I'm going to add a couple more seconds. And we're going to add a new scene. So now we want John. And let's have his hand up. We want to make him appropriate, appropriately sized. So like so. Did you find that tricky? Oh, for sure. But a solid real estate agent. So you notice how it swiped away. I don't want that. So I'm going to go back to this scene, go to scene settings, exit animation off. And then this way, it's just going to cut to him when he starts talking. So look. Did you find that tricky? Oh, for sure. But a solid real estate agent can really help. And it's up to you. At this point, maybe we don't need the image to be drawn on each time. So I'm going to set this to zero. And then scene settings, we're going to need to make it long enough for a scene, so we're going to say seven. Turn off exit animation, hit apply. And then we're going to add a new scene. And then we're going to go back to Andrew. I like him looking mystified here. Let's just try that. And zero duration. Let's add some time at the end. Exit animation off. That'll be just right. Give you a ton down the road. Sounds like I need a good checklist and maybe a stronger copy blend. And I know this soundtrack is ridiculous, but I hope it's giving you the idea on how you can use this. Okay, one more. Let's have both characters. So, let's see Andrew. And now they're kind of like joking around a little bit and having fun. So let's see if we can have a little happier look. Do this one for Andrew. And then let's find John again. And let's do a camera move one more time. So this time, just go ahead and right click, add panning and zooming, and that'll put your effect kind of where you need it. Let's move the camera movement down temporarily, just so we can see our the actual scene we're working with. We'll move it. There we go. So unlock start, and this time we're going to start with it zoomed in on him, because he's the one talking. It'd be like that. And then we'll end full screen and apply. Now let's move this back to the very beginning of this scene. And I think we probably want a fairly slow zoom out. Let's just see how that's looking. Ha, ah, definitely on the coffee. 
Just take things one step at a time and call my agent, Stacy Marks. And that's basically it. Of course, you'd want to finish the video. You know, we'd probably put Stacy Marks' business card in here and whatever else. This is just a, one little section of a larger video, I'm sure. So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. John, I'm thinking about buying a house, but it's overwhelming. Any pointers on where to begin? Totally get that, Andrew. Start simple. Figure out what you can spend and what's essential for you. What about all the mortgage and inspection stuff? Did you find that tricky? Oh, for sure. But a solid real estate agent can really help demystify things. And absolutely don't skip on a good inspection. It can save you a ton down the road. Sounds like I need a good checklist and maybe a stronger coffee blend. Ha, ah, definitely on the coffee. Just take things one step at a time and call my agent, Stacy Marks. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly and Talkia together to have two of your characters talking. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.